PTC Creo Parametric 3.0 Lesson 11, Part 2. In this last portion of the lesson, we're going to cover how to do a detailed drawing format. We still have our drawing up on sheet number two. We're going to go just back to sheet number one. Doesn't make any difference which one we're working on here. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually open a system format. So file, open, and go down under your common folders and system format. And we're going to select a D. Open. Now we've got one in session right now. So I'm going to give this one a new name. And it's going to open up the format for me. So I'm going to be working here with the format not on the other drawing, but here with the format. So basically what we want to do is zoom in on the title block area. And we're going to create elements on this particular title block. So what we want to do is we want to manage our, well, let's go down to, um, let's see, drawing properties. So prepare drawing properties. And these are the properties just for the format, not for the drawing sheet that we were on before. So it's a little confusing, but when you see this, you'll see that there's instead of like a uh, thousand, there's, you know, 25, 30 options here. And what you want to do is just go down here and follow the steps in the book. And one of them is we want to make this one filled for the arrow style and for the, um, got the text height. I think we want to change the text height to 0.25. Again, this can be altered once we get the uh, the other stuff done. And I actually have you make a couple of other changes here. Get over to here. And you know, the text height, uh, default font, we want that to be filled, arrow style filled. So default font here. And remember, this is that one that you have to type in. And you could say, well, I did this before. You did it for a sheet for the drawing, but you didn't do the format. Format is different than a drawing. So we've changed the height and the font. The arrow style is closed. Um, we can change that to filled. And whatever else it tells you in the book to do. We'll leave it like it is. Apply, close, close. The next thing we want to do is we want to take a look at uh, some of the other options we got going here for the sketcher. And let's just show the grid. Turn that on. Click OK. And then click on your sketch tab and click on draft grid. And you can see it comes in the menu manager over here. And select grid parameters, x, y spacing. And well, listen, let's see. Yeah, that's, I don't know if I want to do the x, y spacing. Um, 0.25. Oh, I think we want to make that very small. I'll take that back. It's 0.1. Very small grid. Done. And show grid. Done. And if we take a look at this under the options again and the sketcher, we want to make sure snap to grid is on. There's a couple places to get to these items. This is where you usually set it up with your options, but you can also do it no here you can also do it under the draft grid here okay Done. so the grid is set fairly small so that we can put in the elements the information that we want in here and basically what you're going to do is you're going to create your own uh, let me move this up you're going to create your own title block putting in information so what we want to do is we want to start off with our annotate tab and click on note and let's put it in the largest block here this is for tool engineering i'm going to just abbreviate things and double click with my left mouse button and then continue on to put in all the items now these are our items that are not parametric and i didn't even spell this one correctly i oh, will leave it call it tall engineering all right, so 
you're just putting in dumb notes. In other words, notes don't have any information in them or they're not parametric. So these are just words. So if you did one and you wanted to put an issued, so you'd put it down here in the block for issued down over here. Etc. So you can put your put them all in, put all the notes in. But what we really want to do is pay attention to some of these other notes that have parametric connections to the drawing. So in other words, drawing name will read the drawing name and put it in here automatically. The long one here, sheet of total sheets, that one will read how many sheets you've got. We've got two sheets. So these are a little bit different. You got to follow these very carefully. Uh, let's start off with the scale, and we're just going to click on sketch, oh, sorry, annotate, note, and we want it to go in the block for the drawing scale, which is over here, but we're going to type in something a little bit different. We've got to put the ampersand scale in there, so when we go over here, Ampersand scale. Now these are parameters that have been set up by Creo. I know it looks large, but it's just going to read the information later. And we do have kind of large lettering. I can't remember what it told us to do. So the next thing we want to do is let's try the long one here. So we've got sheet. We've got this whole area here. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to copy it. And put in my new note and it goes actually down here in the corner sheet one of one now you can say wait a second that's not what it said that's true it said sheet space ampersand current underscore sheet that's the parameter here and then space of that's just a word space and then another parameter and total number of sheets and when it goes in here, it says sheet one of one because we're only on one sheet right now. So all this information gets embedded into the format itself. So you're going to finish this out and make sure all the elements are in there so that you have a complete title block. You can change the name. You can name the company or a name of your that you want. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to open up the one that was completed already. And... Let's see if I can find out which one it was. I think it's that one. And again, I could zoom up to see it. Preview. This is the completed one that we did for the book. And if you look at this, you'll see all the information is in there. Now, what I did is I actually did go in and click on these individually or double click and change their height. So you want to make sure that they're going to fit in the format itself. And then this gets saved. So basically what you're doing, let's click on annotate, and you'll see these are the notes that went in there. All these notes. These others are the notes or the, the zone lettering. That's why you've got so many of them in here. And again, if you want, you can actually do some changes. You, you select all of these not the zone lettering. And if you wanted to change the font and stuff like that, you could do you could do a global change. All right, so let's go back over to our drawing. So what happens here is we've got the standard sheet in here, but we want to use our sheet. So right mouse button sheet setup, or you should be able to double click down here on sheet, oh, not sheet, on size. And we want to go in there and browse, and we are in session with that one. This is the one we want. Open. Okay. And what it does is it fills in information. That was the name of the part I had, by the way, ANCH. Tool engineering is what we took from the format. So this is reading information into it. The scale of the drawing is one. The drawing and issue, these are just dumb notes. This is just a note. And this is reading sheet one of two. And we don't have that on this format. If we wanted to do it on this format for the second page, we'd have to do the same thing. In other words, it allows us to have different formats for different sheets. They may be different sizes, too.
and this one says sheet two of two. So it's reading the parametric information into the into the format into the, and into the drawing. So from the drawing and from the model, it's reading and placing the information in the title block, which is on the format. So if you come here, now remember, this is the drawing, and it's using the format. So if we come in here and we try to double click on anything, none of this is active. If you want to make changes, you have to be in the format to make that changes because this is these are format entities just like the uh, the config file the con the uh, DTL file that we put in uh, when we were uh, for the drawing properties these are what's controlling this format not controlling the drawing I'll close this one we'll go back to our original so what can you tell you can click on anything in the drawing but you can't click on the stuff and alter the stuff that's in the in the on the format if you wanted this information to be available on the drawing only and not in the format then this is where you can insert information and you can annotations right at this point so if you wanted to you could do the same thing here you could go um, uh, Put another note in if you wish, wherever you want that to go. But that's on the drawing, not on the format. So I can double click on that and do stuff with it, edit it. I can't double click on here. So if I wanted to go back and open up my detail, that of course has not been touched by that new note. It's not going to be in here on this one. So this concludes lesson number 11.